Okay guys, so today I'll be making another variation of chicken biryani. So of course this is going to be my version. So let's get started. Okay, so I don't have green chilies to put in my biryani. So I'm going to be picking this jalapeno pepper that I have here in order to put in it. Right, so we're going to cut up this jalapeno pepper along with some seasoning peppers. Okay guys, so in my version of the chicken biryani today, what I'm going to be putting in it is some seasoned peppers from my garden. I had some parsley in the fridge. I want to add that to the rice because I want to use that up. I'm going to be putting some pumpkin, carrot, um, some butternut squash, one jalapeno pepper, and some pak choy. And I'm going to be putting in the rice in order to use it up. And of course, our red onion. Okay, so. These are some of the things that we're going to be putting in our chicken biryani. Now I have the chicken here. I had a chicken here. Um, it was marinating overnight in uh, the Malay chicken biryani spices. Um, and I also put coconut milk in it. So we have this here. All right. So these are all the things that we're going to use. So I'm going to get to cutting everything up now. I'm just going to rip the parsley leaves off. It was in the fridge. Um, if I do use it, it will spoil. So I might as well add it to this dish. All right, let's cut up the onion. Okay, guys, so I have everything cut up ready. So my pumpkin and my butternut squash that's going to be going into the chicken itself and the the onions when we fry the onions first the pak choy my carrots my peppers they'll be going into and along with the parsley they'll be going into the rice so let's get to boiling the rice i already have the rice washed so it's ready for boiling okay so i have six cups of water here that i'm going to boil my rice in I have two cups of washed basmati rice here um, and we're going to boil this rice. I'll boil my rice for about seven minutes. It takes about eight minutes to cook. I'm going to boil it for about seven minutes. All right. Now what we're going to do is to give some color to our rice. I'm going to put some kash mari chili powder in the water here to boil the rice. Okay. If you want, you could also use turmeric to give it a color as well. I'm going to be putting two tablespoons of sea salt in this water. Okay. I'm going to add in the carrots and the peppers and the pak choy as well and the parsley. So I'm not boiling my rice at this point to complete doneness because remember we're, we're going to simmer the rice and the chicken after in a separate pot. So I'm just going to cook it a little, um, well like I said, about seven minutes. I'm going to boil it in this water here. All right, so let's just wait for this to come up to a boil. Okay, so now that our water is boiling, I'm going to add in the rice in order to boil it. And I've put on my timer for about seven minutes. Okay, so let's move over to uh, frying our onions. All right, so let's fry up our onions. I just added some coconut oil there. We want to fry our onions until they are lightly golden brown.
Okay guys, so what I'm going to do is add a little bit of pink Himalayan salt to my onion as it's frying. That will just help bring out the flavor of the onions. Okay guys, so now that we have fried our onions, I'm going to remove some of it to put on top of my rice and leave the rest to cook with the chicken, okay? This is chicken thighs that I cut up. I have some dried curry leaves and a piece of cinnamon. I'll also just add this to it as well. Right, so we're basically going to leave this to cook completely. I'm going to be using coconut milk in order to cook my chicken. Now the biryani spices, um, it has different um, heat levels. So for example, this one here I'm using is the Malay chicken biryani. Um, this is spicy, but it's not as spicy as the Bombay um, biryani spice. There's one called the Pelau biryani spice. That one is not as spicy as this one, which is the Malay. So you can always play around with the different biryani spices to see which one suits you all right so basically we're going to be leaving this chicken to cook completely um of course i am what i'm going to do right now i'm just going to cover it and i'm going to leave it to cook by itself for about 10 minutes after 10 minutes i'm then going to add in my pumpkin and butternut squash and then completely cook the chicken but I don't want to add that just yet. I just want to leave it alone with the chicken to cook for about 10 minutes. All right, so now that our 10 minutes is, is up, let's add in the pumpkin and the butternut squash and finish completely cooking our chicken. Okay guys, so our chicken is finished cooking. I added a little more coconut milk because I want that gravy for my biryani. Okay, so now we're going to layer our biryani. I'm going to put on the fire to low. I'm going to add the rice first. Okay. Now I'm going to add the chicken. All right. We're now going to add the rest of the rice on top. All right, and then the onion. The rest of onion that we had, we're just gonna sprinkle it here at the top. The fried onion. Then we're gonna cover this and leave it to simmer. I'll leave it to simmer for about three minutes. 